In this video, we are gonna be trying a popular sneak flavor. From what I've been told, this flavor is one of the best. So let's have a little look at this one. So the flavor that we are talking about today is this one here, Purple Storm. From what I've been told, this is one of the most popular flavors that sneak actually do. I've also got a few friends that have tried this flavor before me and told me that it tastes like a very popular drink here in the UK, uh, like a Vimto, which is one of my favorite drinks to have in the UK. So I am very excited to give this one a go today. So as always with these videos, let's first of all, start off by taking a look at the design. So obviously again, today we have got another pack. Unfortunately, we don't have a tub of this one just yet, but this is the front of the pack. This one's one of the more shiny ones. You can kind of see that, how it catches the light. This one's probably the most shiny pack, I think, that I've actually seen out of all the ones so far. And it's just like this nice kind of pinky purple gradient at the front. And then on the back here, you've got the serving suggestions and the ingredients as well. Right, okay, so not too much to look at with the pack, as always. But let's rip this one open and let's get a quick smell test of the powder. Okay, that was probably the hardest I've actually ever had to rip off one of the one of the packs. This took forever. It's like a super glued down, but we managed to get it off. So let's give this one a quick smell test. Let's see if it does actually smell like Vimto. And yeah, okay, straight away. Oh my gosh, that is a strong smell. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a Vimto smell in here. It's very strong though, and a, a massive amount of sweetness in this as well. That has me a lot more hyped to try this one now. So that is the smell of the powder, and I can confirm this one does smell like a Vimto. So let's get our water and our ice cubes, which I've already filled up, and all the ice cubes have melted, I've just realized. And today I'm actually trying 500 ml of water. Usually I normally do 400, but recently I've tried 500, and I think just based off all my times having like G Fuel and stuff like that, I actually think I prefer it in a 500 mil rather than 400. Right, okay, we are gonna put this in here then, like so. I hope it turns a purple color. I don't think it would go any other color really. I'd be quite disappointed if it did. Make sure we get all the powder going in there. Okay, that is definitely in there. Let's get our lid and let's close this up and give it a shake. All right, let's shake it. Okay, for some reason the powder doesn't want to dissolve a lot on this one, which is quite unusual for most of the sneak flavors, so I'm really going to have to shake this one up. Ugh. I don't think I've ever shaken anything harder than that before. That's what she said! <laughs> yeah, it just, it's not going away. I've, I've tried so hard to try and get rid of that clumpiness at the bottom, but this little bit by here, I cannot get rid of. Yeah, okay, I guess that's the best that we're going to get. There is still a little bit of powder forming on the bottom of this one. But I think that should be all right. I'm not sure if that's because I've put it in the 500 mil compared to the 400, but it should be all right. All right, I'm just going to say that this is shaken up enough. We are going to open up our lid and get a quick smell test of this one in water. And yeah, I'm getting like this sort of grape kind of smell. Okay, I'm definitely getting a grape slash Vimto smell to this one. So it is, I'm I'm pretty sure it's a, it is a Vimto flavor. Or if you've never had Vimto before, this smells just like a grape. It smells just like the grape from uh, the grape review that we did not too long ago. And also just looking at the foam, there is a, a fair amount of foam. There's not the most, but there is still some at the top. Right, let's crack this one open and let's give it a go. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, wow. That is so strange. That, right. So if you've had Vimto before, then you'll understand what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, I'll try and describe it. When you actually have the real version of this drink, after you finish drinking it, there's this like weird aftertaste where like your mouth kind of goes a little bit dry and then you just get hit by this kind of like cranberry sort of blackberry taste towards the end and they've done the exact same thing for this i don't know how they've managed to do that yeah that's really weird that's just like the actual drink and that is very good sneak have done a good job on this one straight away so if you actually haven't tried vimto before 
and you're not from the UK because I think that's that's mainly where it is sold. This tastes like a grape, a little bit of raspberry, and a little bit of a blackberry as well, or like a black currant. But yeah, that is not bad at all, and it is very refreshing as well. It's not actually too sweet either, because I thought that with the smell of the powder, this one would be very sweet, but it's actually it's not bad at all, really. Yeah, Sneak have done a good job on this one by not making it too sweet and not making it too bitter from the blackberry. They actually balance this one out really nicely. It's also, weirdly, it sits right in the middle of not being too light and not being too strong either. Like, there is a little bit of lightness to it, but also, it's definitely not too strong either. I can definitely see myself picking myself up a few more of these for the summer just because of how refreshing this one is. And I am also very glad that this one is a Vimpdo remake sort of thing, because like I said at the start of the video, I absolutely love Vimpdo, and this one has done a very good job. So Sneak, well done on this one. And also all that powder that I was worried about is gone, so there's none of the powder, I'm not sure why. It was so bad at the start. If you're more into like the real fruit tasting flavors, then this one is a must buy. This one's probably the most real tasting one I've tried so far. So that brings us on to the question, what would I rate this flavor out of 10? Purple Storm, what would I rate it? So the way I rate my flavors, if you guys didn't already know, I try and base it off one, obviously the smell and the taste. Two, I base it off of like the consistency on whether it's not too light, whether it's not too strong. Three, I'll rank it on how many times I think I would be able to have this throughout the year. For example, like, do I see myself drinking it every single day? Do I see myself having this in the morning time, in the afternoon, in the summer, in the winter? And then the final thing I think of is how good it would be for like the, the vast majority of people. Like, would I recommend this to people? So in terms of the flavor and taste, this one is very nice. Like I said, it's a real fruit tasting flavor. Like I said, it's not too strong and it's definitely not too light. So it sits right in the middle of that. Honestly, I'd probably see myself drinking this a lot more in the summer day rather than anything really. I, I probably wouldn't see myself having this in, in the winter time, especially like in a winter morning. This one, probably not. I'd probably stick to summer for this one, but you could have it in the winter time. And then recommending it. Would I recommend it to someone? I definitely would. So if I was to rate this one out of 10, I am going to give this one a solid 9 out of 10. Very good flavor. Very solid and refreshing flavor being the key word there. Wow. Yeah, it is good. It's very good, actually. So guys, that is going to do it for this video where we try the Purple Storm Sneak flavor. Remember guys, as always, if you did like this video, then please do go down and drop a like. Also, if you are new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with Sneak and G Fuel videos, then make sure to subscribe and turn on the post notifications. All my social media links are down in the description too. And with that said, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.